Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to be unboxing and showing you the new Tado X. Now, the Tado X was announced a while back and has only just been released. Now, I placed an order for mine a few days ago and it has arrived today. Now, there's various different versions of the Tado X out there. There's basically one version you need if you have a wired thermostat and one version you need if you have a wireless thermostat. Now I have a wireless thermostat, which means I've got the wireless kit. That kit basically includes a box that attaches to the cable coming out of your boiler and the new Tado X wireless thermostat. Now, as I use Tado already, I'm expecting installation to be super easy because I'll just unplug my existing box and plug in the new one. I also have a four pack of the new Tado X smart radiator valves as well. Now with these valves, you are gonna need a separate bridge if you don't have something like the wireless Tado receiver. So I haven't needed to pick one of those up. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox both of those, show you what you get and get them installed in my home and set up. And I'll show you that whole process. I'm gonna make a video in a couple of weeks time. that will be a full review of each of these. So it'll be a full review of the Tado X thermostat, but then also a full review of the Tado X radiator valves. If you don't wanna wait until then, I will put links below. We can pick up both on Amazon and Tado. The Tado website link, if you fill in the form, you'll get 10% off your order. Uh, if you've used Tado's website before to place an order, it only applies to new customers, so just use a different email address. But let's check out the boxes, dive in and see what you get. So firstly, let's check out the Tado Wireless Smart Thermostat Starter Kit. So this is the X, we can see because it's got the new black design. And also the edges of this box look slightly more rounded, although that box does look very similar. Now this supports open therm and it also works with hot water control as well. Now I only have a combi boiler so I don't need to worry about hot water control. Now if we look at the top of the box we can see the main thing which is the new Tado X is matter compatible which means it will work with all of your usual kind of matter things like Apple and Google and Alexa but it's built on thread this means that it can run offline. It also means you technically don't need a hub because your Apple HomePod mini for example can act as your home hub. So if we flick through back, you can see that it works with the Tado app, which is for iOS and Android. It works with Apple Home, it works with Google Home and Alexa. And it's gonna work with exactly the same app as before. One thing I do know is that whilst I already have Tado set up in my home, I'm gonna to have to create a new home for this and create new schedules and programs, which is a little bit irritating because you can't transfer them across, but I'm only gonna have to do it once, so it's not the end of the world. And of course, I'll show you how to do that. So let's get this open up. Okay, so we've got two boxes here. Let's open these up and see what we've got. Okay, so here we go in the left-hand box. Okay, so here we've got the new Tado wireless thermostat. You can see you've got three buttons, a bit like the old white one. It is definitely more rounded. And then on the back, we've got space for a mounting plate. I'll go in a second. And of course, your matter QR code and number. Uh, and then three batteries with a tab. And if we pull this out, we can also see the back here. And one thing to note is just like the um, previous generation of Tado, you can actually use this as a wired thermostat. So if you were to order the Tado wired kit rather than the wireless kit, which is what I've got, you, all you would happen is you wouldn't get this box, you'd get this and you'd wire this directly in where your existing thermostat is. Um, of course, in here, we also get some sticky pads and screws and raw plugs for mounting it. If we open this box, you can see you've got basically the instructions, which are download the Tado app and add it in the Tado app. Really simple. Uh, and then of course, this is the wireless controller, which will go on my boiler. Um, it does actually feel heavier than the previous model. We'll have a look at this in a second. If we lift this out as well, this is all the usual stuff you get with Tados. So depending on your existing boiler setup, you might have cables you need to block off with these. There's these bridging wires. These are typically used if you've got a hot water tank. Uh, you've also got this extra cable as well, which you might need if your boiler doesn't have anything at the moment at all. And then you've got just like literally a sheet and then some screws. And you've also got this sheet of stickers. Um, and I'll talk to you about all of this in a second. If we look at wireless receiver, one key difference is that this now just comes off. The old one's screwed on, so I, I did actually lose one of his screws, so it's good that that's not for any more. You've got three spaces here to fix this to your wall, and then you've got your spaces at the top for your wiring and your status lights and all sorts. And of course, places there where you can select your uh, system as well. So if you've got a combi, your open therm. So this looks a little bit simpler than it was before. Um, and I think when we come to do the wiring, we're gonna unscrew this and put these wires in here. So this unit will be kind of one thing. And then on top, I'm guessing these are buttons to control 
these different settings. So if you wanted to boost your hot water, boost your heating, if you need to restart it, if you need to connect the Wi-Fi, because this thing now connects by Wi-Fi, which means if you have the previous version where you have the little bridge, uh, you no longer need that little bridge, which is fantastic because it's one less hub to plug in in your house. So let's talk about all of this and all these cables for a second. So the Tado uh, kind of philosophy is that you should be able to install this yourself. Um, and I have installed this myself before. In a previous house, I actually installed the Tado uh, on a boiler that had a separate thermostat, a wired thermostat, but also a hot water tank, which is probably about the most complicated setup you can get. And the Tado installation process is great because in the app, you literally select um, your boiler, your thermostat, if you've got hot water tank, and it talks you through the whole process. It talks you through making sure the power's off, undoing screws in your existing one, uh, labeling your cables so you know which cable came from where, so your hot water com, for example, your hot water NC, all that kind of stuff, uh, removing your existing stuff and installing the Tado. Like I said, my previous setup is probably my most complicated setup you can get. Um, but it was doable, it took about an hour and a half from memory, I mean it was about three years ago now, um, but the Tado instructions are fantastic and all in the app and they talk you through the process. So this is everything you get with the new Tado X wireless thermostat kit, uh, but let's check out the radiator valves. Okay, so here are the new Tado X radiator thermostats and this is the four pack, you can get these individually, you can also get these with a plug-in bridge which I don't need because I've got this which will act as a bridge. Uh, these have obviously got a new design compared to the old one, nice little colour screen, no kind of LEDs anymore so let's just open this up. Okay so if you get four pack like I do you literally get four boxes, each one is going to contain exactly the same thing so let's just open one of these up. Okay, so again, some instructions up here. These will pull out. You've got your serial number, your matter code. We can lift this out and we get a variety of adapters for different radiator valve types. And then we get the valve itself. So you can rotate to navigate and tap to confirm. I mean, this is very similar to the old ones in terms of how they attach. Just to show you, and I'll show you some close-ups once it's installed as well. Uh, I've just removed all the packaging from it. You've basically got two parts to this. You've now got this new uh, puck that comes out the bottom here uh, and this is the power supply so it's now charged by USB-C uh, so if you need to recharge these you can just take that out and plug that in somewhere. You can buy separate uh, of these little battery packs if you want to. Uh, I might do that eventually but I'll see how long it takes to charge so I'm just going to get this plugged in and in the meantime let's get everything else set up. Okay before I get things set up let me just show you I have got this plugged in now it's got a static light on there because there was a battery tab in there I think the static light means it's fully charged so I think this comes good to go. Okay, you can see here I've got my cables labelled from my existing Tado installation. This is the old Tado V3, which I'm going to be replacing with the new one. You can see they're very similar. Quite helpfully, the screw holes look like they line up as well, which can be great. So I'm literally going to move these cables from here into here. I have disconnected my boiler from the mains, and then I'm going to mount this back up. So I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so this is the new one all wired up. So what I need to do now is put the cover back on here and mount this. Okay, that's the cover back on. Let's get it mounted on the wall. Okay, that's all mounted. So we're just gonna pop the cap on. And what we're gonna do next is switch the power back onto this and also wall mount the new thermostat. So let's go and do that. Now Tado give you a whole variety of ways you can mount this. You can mount this with screws if you want to. If so, you've gotta put the holes in this yourself with the little kind of placeholders. Um, my old one, which is here, was just mounted with a command strip. So I'm gonna use the included sticky pads from Tado just to mount this. So I've got the three strips on there. There are markings on the back of here where to put them. So I'm literally just going to take these off and suck it on the wall. Okay, so here we go. I've pulled the battery tab out the back. And the way the mount works is you can just pull it off the wall if you need to when you need to change your batteries. So just pop it on like that. If we put it next to the existing Tado, it's very slightly smaller. And you can see it has got more rounded edges and it's got this black front, which I think is a much nicer design personally. And you've got this little display like that, which, um, Again, looks pretty modern and cool. So let's get into the app and get everything set up. Now at this point, you're gonna to need to open the Tado app. And as I said, if you had a previous Tado, you are gonna to need to delete your existing home. And so it's gonna be like starting afresh. It's a shame there's not a way to kind of import everything, but this is just the way Tado have said it's got to be done. So you can do all the usual things like naming your home, giving it permissions. Remember, you're gonna to need to add new household members again. Um, and then you're gonna add the device. And I recommend if you've got wireless receiver, add in that first. 
Now, you're generally going to want to add this before you install it. Obviously, I've got a really simple setup where I'm switching one Tado out for another, because at this point, you're going to select uh, your current thermostat, your current boiler, all the kind of stuff, and Tado will give you personalized instructions. So if you don't already have a Tado like me, and you're not just doing a straight swap out, you are going to want to add this to the app first. As part of this, you're going to need to add the new wireless receiver to your Wi-Fi once you've actually got this thing installed. Um, and one thing to note is that it doesn't like connecting to 5 gigahertz networks, so you're going to need to temporarily put your network into 2.4 gigahertz mode. Once you've got it connected, it will connect absolutely fine to the 5 gigahertz, but when you're first connecting it, as with a lot of smart home products, you need to put your network in 2.4 gigahertz mode. Now once you've done that, you're also then going to add the wireless thermostat as well. So that's the wireless receiver and the wireless thermostat set up. Let's get the radiator valve set up. Okay, so let me show you the installation process for the Tado radiator valves. So we literally have a, a thermostatic radiator valve on here, so I don't need any of the adapters. I just twist this top bit until this comes off like that. And then I can literally grab the new Tado one and just screw that on there. And you don't even need to use wrenches, these just need to be thumb tight. So that is absolutely spot on. So to get it up and running, we just jump into the Tado app. So in the Tado app, we're going to hit the middle tab and rooms and devices. And then we're just going to click add device. And again, you can scan a QR code or you can put the code in manually. Personally, I found that this is pretty bad at reading the QR codes unless you hold the camera miles away. So putting the device details in manually is much easier. Once it's done, it's going to find the device and connect to it. It will talk you through the setting process. If you haven't already, remove the battery cover and the puck. It, it will at this point also add it to Apple Home. But one thing I did find is that even adding it to Apple Home this way, it didn't actually appear in my Home app and I had to go back in and use a plus in the top of Apple Home and choose that accessory and add it that way later on. I'm not sure why it didn't do that. It might just be my home setup, but it's just one thing to note that I had to then go and add it into Apple Home separately. So this is how you change the screen orientation on a Tado X valve. So firstly, you want to tap it and you want to long tap it so you get into the settings. So wait for that little yellow circle to complete. Then tap once on the screen, uh, the English, and then you can twist that to change the screen orientation. Hit that and it's exactly how you want it. So there you go, in this video we've unboxed and set up the Tado X wireless kit, but also the Tado X radiator valves. Now the radiator valves, especially on most typical radiator valves in the UK, are really easy to install if you already have a thermostatic radiator valve. Even if you've got a slightly unusual one, the included adapters should allow you to fit it. If you don't have one, you are going to need to remove the existing valve and put on a new thermostatic one first, which you're probably going to need a plumber for. The actual thermostat itself is really easy to install and from installing Tado products previously, even if you've got a complicated setup with an existing wired thermostat and an extra box, and hot water and a water tank and all that kind of stuff, Tado wills to be able to talk you through that. My installation is really simple because I already had a Tado, so I literally removed the wires from my V3 and put them into the new one. The main thing to note if you are coming at this from an existing Tado system is you need to delete your existing home and start again. This means you'll lose any saved boiler details, you'll lose any schedules, so you might want to take some screenshots of that first. Tado haven't got a way to kind of migrate from one to the other. And I do think that's a bit of a missed trick on their part, um, but I'm guessing because this kind of operates on a completely different system, that's why they've done that. But like I said, you want to take some screenshots if you do want to keep your existing uh, programs or you can just start again. I'm going to do a full review after using these for a couple of weeks, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. If you do want to pick them up, I will put links below there to Amazon in whichever country you're in, but also to the Tado website. If you use my link on the Tado website, you can sign up and get 10% off your order, which is a nice chunky saving, especially if you're getting the radiator valves as well. If you've got any questions, stick them below, and I'll see you guys again soon.